One of the three Israeli teens has deep roots here in Brooklyn. The grandparents of Natalie Frankel moved from Flatbush to Israel, and he still has family living in this borough. The news of his death hit hard. People are um, crying about it. Jeff Resnick knew that the Brooklyn community needed a way to express unspeakable emotion, so he opened the walls of his Midwood art studio for anyone to paint. He and his wife whitewashed the walls this weekend, and in the 24 hours before the boys were discovered dead, over a hundred people splashed the walls with color and words of solidarity. I'm just so glad that we, it's so, so appreciative that we had the opportunity to do one little piece that if any of the parents saw it and they were assuaged one little teeny bit, that, then I know that we did make a difference in this world. So. I met one of the cousins of Natalie Frankel while here on the sidewalk. She didn't want to talk on camera. But she did say that her husband is on his way to Israel right now to express condolences to the whole family. Person after person stopped by at this wall to take pictures and express their grief. The Jewish nation is, a, is one nation here and we are all unified and all together. We feel for these parents. I have children who are the same ages as these children. My heart just goes out to everyone. After the news broke on Monday, about 100 people gathered at the Israeli consulate on Manhattan's east side to pray for the boys and their families. Rabbi Avi Weiss from the Hebrew Institute in Riverdale said that these boys are the brothers and sons of every New Yorker, every American, and every person with a moral conscience who walks this earth. We feel for you, and we love you, and we're all one family, and we're just, I don't know what to say. There's nothing really to say for something like this that went on. Jeff Resnick is glad to hear Pope Francis' condolences to the family and community of the murdered boys. He is deeply appreciative of the Supreme Pontiff's openness to the Jewish people and of the Pope's visit to Israel this past May. Jeff wants people of faith to work together more closely. It's gratifying that the Pope is with us and it's gratifying that we're with him that he came to Israel to visit us and he works with us and we certainly mourn with him and he mourns with us and hopefully this would be the, will be the end of the morning and we'll be able to work together and achieve super goals that we all need. Jeff Resnick says that this wall will sit silent for seven days with nothing being added to it while the community mourns the loss of their three boys. Reporting for Currents from Midwood, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.